So we're here at the Detroit Auto Show. And we're talking to Trent Victor from Volvo um, about uh, some of Volvo's self-driving technology. So you guys just unveiled this, yes, which is a, a, an XC90, but it's a special XC90. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about it? Well, this is the XC90 that will be used in, in the Drive Me uh, project. Mm -hmm. It's a research project in Gothenburg, Sweden. So this is the first vehicle, and we just gave that to this uh, new uh, family that mm -hmm. we've introduced on this on this stage here. And it's a it's a vehicle that does uh, autonomous driving, and it's got uh, it's also a research tool. So it's got a lot of different research uh, cameras in it and data logging and that kind of thing. Right. So the the program is going to be there's a, a, a hundred of these, correct? There's a hundred families that'll be running. Yes, and then so we'll have different batches of technology, mm -hmm. which is different cars, different types of cars that will be sent out. And that will be rotated through a number of families or a hundred families. Right. Yeah. Can you tell us maybe some um, some of the research questions that you're looking to answer? Well, we we're looking at sustainable society mm -hmm. in general, right? So the the research program itself is called Drive Me, and and it has. Uh, safety, obviously, this is my main topic of safety, but we also have fuel efficiency, traffic flow or capacity. We're also looking at infrastructure changes and then uh, how it can, it can you know, affect cities and, and that kind of thing. Right. And there's a lot of parts to this where there's uh, different uh, uh, solutions to technology. So we're looking at the technology side of like radars, how, how, what field of view and how far they have to see and all these different things. But what we're, we're talking about today is really the human side of things. So, so a lot of the race of, has been a technology race. Mm -hmm. where, but what we're trying to do now is, is focus on, on the usage yep. and, and seeing how these vehicles can enhance people's lives. That's the that's the, the true thing that's going to get people to want to engage and use these right. systems. The Dormy project is about the journey yep. from a supervised automation situation to an unsupervised automation situation. Right. And and on that journey, what we'll be seeing is that there's different stages where we have both new uh, batches or different types of technology that will mm -hmm. be introduced. So the technology in the cars will be updated. But also, you'll see that the role of the driver changes. So, right. and, and the main role, and the way we define automation, or, is that the driver has. There's two types of automation, where the driver is supervising the automation, or the, uh, there's an unsupervised automation. So, and, supervised automation would be similar to an airline pilot, maybe. Yeah. If, for example, that's like the autopilot in in an airline is actually supervised by the by the pilot. And what we're aiming at is is to get to the phase where where the driver by pushing the paddles is handing over or delegating control to the to the car and then that means that Volvo takes the responsibility mm -hmm. the liability and that means that Volvo drives safely to the destination it means you're free to do something else right, right? and that's quite different from the situation where where it where you see that the vehicle steers itself and it breaks itself and it seems to handle everything but you're still required to be supervising it uh, because of the, because we want to make sure that when we make that step, that very clear step to the delegated driving, mm -hmm. that it's it's uh, it's completely safe. Right. Looking at people with uh, that are hesitant towards the technology, mm -hmm. we'll look at people that are very lead lead users and very wanting to jump right in and take their hands off the steering wheel and do something else. So they have these different customer groups, which are different lifestyles or different things like that, and we want to to maintain the ability to design the technology for those two different uh, lifestyle uh, pe types of people. Maybe, maybe uh, uh, the main thing is to make sure that, that when you are in this assisted driving situation that you design it differently, you design it specifically for assisted driving uh, and then it's very clear to the driver that, that it's not uh, fully autonomous. Right. And then when you are in fully autonomous, then it's very, very clear. And, and making that distinction, I think, and keeping that as, as something that you have this mixed uh, types of automation where, for example, and this is an illustration of, of the, it's a type of road. Is it the road, is this the road network in, in Well, this is a graphical, not, not exactly it, but it's the, the idea is when you get to the road, then, then you, the self-driving capability is enabled, right? right? So then you're, you're offered this and then you choose. And you're only offered it when the weather is in, in a good situation and the road is in a good situation. So you can actually accept that offer. And, but on the way to your road, you can, you're free to use the, the other types of uh, semi-autonomous technology. You can see Drive Me is a program. It's both the Gothenburg trial, but it's also the, the UK trial. Right. And we have a Chinese 
trial as well. And we're currently looking at the United States, but nothing is decided in, right. in the dates. And so so what, what you'll see is that there'll be uh, people will they'll be leasing uh, the vehicles for, for different amounts of, uh, of time. And they'll be rotated, so the, the program is will be running over a number of years. It'll be rotated through uh, uh, people with different lengths of, right. of how, how long they drive. And uh, this will, will, be, will re be recording uh, these, um, the data from the autonomous vehicle itself and then also from, from the behaviors of the, of the person inside the vehicle.